Oh, I've seen it. I've seen it go. Oh, it's a good one. That's yeah, a better one. That's an Irwin. Yeah, that's an Irwin. <laughs> oh, wow. oh yeah. goodness, Lordy Day. That's an Irwin right there. <laughs> this is a story about fly fishing Tennessee's backcountry remote trout. But more importantly, it's about my dad's first time fly fishing. And it was unlike any fishing trip we've ever been on. My first introduction into fly fishing was last year when we got my first trout on the fly. Through the years, we've gone fishing together, catching beautiful fish in God's creation across the area. With it being the peak of the summer heat, it was hard for us to catch our favorite smallies. But I knew we had to do something different. All right, folks, just got done talking to Evan here. We got a date set for early September for a fly fishing trip. Here we go. Uh, all right, uh, real quick as well. We got this so rod. If it bends, I'll just pull back straight, keep it straight. It, or no? no, if it bends, you got to kind of throw a bend into it. Like, so okay. say say that line starts to pull yep. a little bit. Well, you got to you got to put that cushion back upstream, like okay. to buy yourself what we call a dead drift. Okay. So we're we're basically trying to make it look these flies look like uh, they're not connected to, to line. Okay. Just cast right straight upstream, right in that current there. Standing up makes it easier. You don't have to sit down, guys. And, and lean into your side brace when you okay. are standing up. Standing up does make it easier. Uh, it gives you a little more leverage. Um, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to try an egg pattern on yours. There you go. That was a good start. Right there. Cool. That's the first cast. <laughs> Uh -huh. Well, that ain't bad for first cast. That's awful, dude. <laughs> now, don't strip so much in, you know what I mean? Let some line out. Let your line out, Ben. Uh, lift your rod tip. There you go. Okay. Now, leave a little bit of fly line out the tip of your rod and lean, lean your rod tip up and back. And we're going to slide them across the surface. You can strip a little bit more. There you go. That's it. That's how you net them. Okay. It, if, you, if you strip in too far, well, you put your trout nine feet away from you. Well, we don't want that. So you, we, we close the gap and bring the fish in by lifting that rod tip back. Right. You know? And using the line, too. Yeah. Okay. So when I'm casting, is the, the blue part or white part, is it supposed to be out of the... Out I like a little bit of the line out the top. Okay. Yeah. That's right where you want them, right on the, the nose. I got you. Wow. Yeah. There you go. First I turn them back. upside down. It kind of stunts them. Oh, feels bad, second. doesn't it? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, batting a thousand there, or that ain't illegal. <laughs> that ain't illegal. It ain't the bug there. Yeah. So his trick's gonna be to keep catching so I can't rig you. Probably is that, <laughs> is that what you're gonna do? He don't have any tricks. <laughs> he don't know. Uh -huh. There you go. And then feed. Ooh. Oh. Now you don't want to set to the right. Crack. If anything, you want to go up and slightly to the left, like this way. You know what I mean? Um, you don't want to go up into the right. Now, being right-handed up into the right is natural, but we got to, you, you know, up and slightly to the left is where you want it. Oh, oh it was a fish. Yeah, you had him. Oh. Yeah. That's, uh, Did it hurt? <laughs> I got a cramp right there. <laughs> uh, now, I'm just rigging this guy up. We're going to put uh, a little dropper on here. There you go. Ooh. I think it's bottom, maybe. Yeah. I didn't feel a fish hey, on there. Good, good. Hello, hello. I'm going to count it flow. Yeah. Man, it's amazing what they can do now. And that YouTube got one. Got <laughs> yeah, that's right. Leave it in there. They'll know it will follow. All right. Okay, so you, I'm going to. Oh, buddy, he's a jumper. I'm going to try to tie this guy real quick. Hold on one sec. I was, I was asleep in the water so it had a, the moment lasts longer. <laughs> there you go. Good. Hey. All right, now you can relax the rod again. We want to leave a little fly line uh, out the tip of the line. Oh, I'm holding it. There you go. There we go. That'll work. We keep that. This is practice. It don't count. No, what? Hold on. Yeah, as long as you're not, see, he's out in the water so they don't count, right? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And okay. yeah, we got an egg pattern up front. Let's see how this kind of compares to that one. I've got it real shallow. I'm gonna film him for a second. Hey, hit it. There you go. This is... Yeah. And now you just use the rod tip. That's all. You don't get them airborne. Keep them right here. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay, All right, now drop. You caught, man. Huh? Yeah, you're right, Chip. Okay. So you're, you notice how, how well the bug is working. See? That's because that's their natural food source. Yeah. So can you throw this on a spinning rod? No, not really. It's too light. Oh, sorry. Can you throw it on a fly rod? Yes, you can. All right, let me let me back row again here, guys. That's your first fly. Oh, dang. We should have gotten a picture. I got what was I thinking? Oh, you do? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, say, I'd say you got it covered, right? All right. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's him. Oh, is that a brown? That oh, is a brown, I think. goodness is me. It? Oh, gosh. Hello. <laughs> yeah, he's going down. Yeah, it's probably a brown. I think it is a brown. I don't know what all of a sudden turned these browns on. No, that's a rainbow. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> that's a rainbow. You're kidding me right now. <laughs> it's just kind of golden. We'll just stick some Sharpie to it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Rubber nets are supposed to help, but there you go. Yeah, I love the rubber nets. Oh man, they make a difference. Uh -huh. I never like those mesh. Gosh, my flies would always end up in them. And... It always confused me why in the world people would use that instead of the mesh ones. I was like, they're a lot easier to get out. Yeah, they are. They make a big difference. Especially if like treble hooks. Oh gosh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh. Oh, crap. Uh, let me check your rig. Oh my gosh, it's a monster! Oh. Oh. My wrist hurts. Doesn't yours? Your elbow. Yeah, and you can catch fish. Yeah, that's what you do. Yeah. That's called slack line bending. You know, you're mending and letting line out without moving your indicator. Uh, oh, that's the biggest rainbow, though. That's a nice rainbow. Oh, what my. What are the colors? That's a wild one. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's that's like a it's... wild fish, yeah. Golly. That's a wild boat. Let's see. He won't let me. I guess, here, you grab him. Is he at? That's a big rainbow for a while. That's wild fish, yeah. That's the biggest wild I caught for rainbows. <laughs> I know you only catch stock trout. Oh, got him. Oh my god. Oh! That one is in the mouth. I'm too. cramping. Oh. <laughs> oh man, that may be the biggest one of the trip. That's a good one. Oh man, that that, that hurts. Oh. I bet you're proud of this. Really hurts right now. Hey buddy. Hey. I'm now. Oh. You got a little more color? Yes. Oh, he played a long drift. 
Oh, oh my, that's mm. a brown, I think. No, it's not. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Hold on now. Here, pull your pull, pull your line through. Just go ahead and strip yours in. Just strip, strip, strip your line. Oh, uh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I got to re-rig you. No, that's just a good brown oh. trout. Oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are you kidding me? I hate this. Oh my like, god, oh, man! Oh, we're re rigging right <laughs> now. <laughs> Towards the camera. Hold. There you go. There you go. Throw it away. Yeah, throw it away. You got him. All right, good. Well, that was pretty good, man. Yeah. Uh, you got That's a boat coming right here. Good, good brown. Man. And that was right after. He sucks. He sucks if I had him. Shut up. <laughs> I'm you. He's still smiling back here. He's too. <laughs> <laughs> Golly. Like, right, man, there's nothing to this fly fishing. Okay. I caught that brown. Right there. Dang it. There you go. That's a fish. That is. It's very in the drift, isn't it? Please don't be a brown. <laughs> it's a rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a small rainbow. Oh, it sucks. Hang on to that. I'm still not. I gotta do the dropper line. No, you're good. That, that's good. <laughs> Priority. Well, that one ate on the swing, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he ate it like he's supposed to. Right in the nose. Yeah, at first glance, he went and think these small hooks would catch them, you know? Especially that big old brown right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm slapping Boy. you. Golly. The stories are going to get. Oh, it's going to be it's gonna be at work gonna be all day. Home. All day, every day. That 21 inch brown. Oh, yeah. It's so when good. I had the 32 inch brown trout. Oh, am I done? Yeah, you're good. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Get out of my way, I'm about to catch a fish. Get <laughs> out of my way, oh my god, I'm gonna kill you. Hey, you already had your turn with Brown. There's several fish in that pocket, though. Yeah, it's a good one. There you go. Thank you. Fish. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they tangle it a little bit if you get airborne. No, you're good. It came right out, actually. Yeah. Rainbow. <laughs> Yeah, false cast until you now some of that you can reel up too that you're not using. Oh, there you go. And then just a big old mend. Got got that ledge, I think. Uh, big old mend up. Please. Oh, oh I got it. Almost. Right there. Get it. There you go. He's just sliding right on in. Hey, no fast to him. I know he's like. He right. gave up. I've, I've been like, there. He's like, it's too hot. <laughs> It's so hot outside. <laughs> there we go. All right. There we go. Let's oh, it came out. Shoot. Yeah. Another rainbow. Rainbow trout. Yeah. Oh. I'll start that. That's, <laughs> That's just what I heard. I haven't seen anything yet. All right. I get ready to try this left side here. Yes. Side. Yes, sir. This is actually where we met, or we've seen them guys that do out. South outdoors or whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, do do south outdoors. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Here, try casting up river and not real far over initially. Cover your water to maximize your catch. Oh my gosh, you had one. Yeah, so I like to maximize like fish close initially and then work my way out. That way your catch rate goes up. You know I mean? Oh, uh, that first one wasn't, but uh, that. Look at that. 
I died. Oh god. No! Oh. No! Uh, oh, this is going down. It's going down. Yeah, that's the sweet spot right there, actually. Well, mmm. I'm not. Uh, uh, I need to hit up. I'll try it. Yeah. Up more. Like that. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> the airborne is what makes it tangle a little bit. And then it'll fling oh, he's in the worm. There you go. There we go. Ta da. I said ta da. That's, that's what a fish looks like. <laughs> it happens with everything and we do with each other it's everything oh no you're good i was watching in indicator And how about here? That's a sweet spot. Well, you can do what's called tight line <laughs> fishing. Um, it works good when you're stationary fishing. Yeah. And yeah, you can you can see your leader move, or you can almost fill them at that point. Um, but uh, for the most part, I play the drift. I find the drift oh, you're kidding me. pretty good. Golly, I had that. What? Uh, oh! Oh, that was a fish. Oh. It's called uh, Euro Fishing Tooth. Yeah. But all that is is tight line fishing, you know. And what they'll use is what's called set that way. Where would you set it to the set up? up and slightly to the right? Because oh. the fish are all facing up river. So if you, if you must be hit the side right there. Oh my god, I'll go kill you. <laughs> oh my god, why is it that one? Oh boy. I don't know, it's not the man. Yeah, you are. <laughs> oh, let me grab this net. <laughs> you, you looked at the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Dad. That's a crappy catch. <laughs> <That's a crappy laughs> <crappy cat. laughs> All right, you're good. So. Get him out. There you go. Double. Two blades. Well, you got to commit to your hook set. Dang, he tangled that thing up. That's a brown, right? Uh, that's about... <laughs> Dang, I keep tangling it up. It's fish. All right, but you do, if you fight a fish for a long time, you do want to make sure before you release them, make sure you hold them and kind of get them back, uh, you know, kind of make sure he's good before he clicks off. Because so they'll actually, yeah, I do. I don't want to doubt it's a fish. No, Wait a minute, is that fish. brown? Oh, no, it's rainbow. I said he's stocked here too. Wait a minute, I think I missed up that, that uh, worm and it actually took it. Yeah, I mean, it pays to have a dropper, but sometimes it makes a mess. Oh, you're about to get, hey, leave it, leave it, leave it. You gotta be predisposed to the line before it comes. Hey. Yeah, that's a good sign. Yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, hang tight for one sec. Oh, I know that. Okay, <laughs> see if that thing works one more time. It's kind of hanging there. All right. But I don't see these big rainbows down here they're talking about yet. Oh. Oh, that's where it's supposed to be? That's where it's supposed to be, is right in here. And I just wonder if my, my, part of the guy, guy buddy, if he knew for sure if it's just a stocking or Irwin fish, but I don't see any Irwins yet. Right here. Yeah, buddy. How can you tell if they're Irwin fish? <gasps> that was a big one out there. Oh, my God. You have one? Mm hmm they're right there, just sitting. Oh, we got another one. Oh, that one. That one. I think that one ate it and pooped it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all doubled again. They had no stock here, you know what I mean? It's not unfun catching fish, though. 
Nah, he's square actually. That's yeah, he's good. Oh man, mine's bigger. That's a wild fish. This is streamborn. Wow. That's a wild fish. That's pretty rare. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get this one out of here. Oh my god. Yeah. Alright, you're good. Good job, dude. That's also wild, so that is pretty rare. Trying to get that thing to go. Dang, they are stacked in there. They're yeah. The bug no, finally now. <laughs> oh, you got another one? Oh. Yeah. Don't you even. <laughs> All right, you're good. Don't you even start. I can, I can even. I can see on your vase. You're gonna say something. <laughs> uh, that that rod's got a warp in it all of a sudden. Oh no, it's just from. Where it's up, I had it oh my god, the warp. <laughs> it's like, what I is he talking about? I've never seen graphite warp. Uh, <laughs> got a memory. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. It looks like a downriver men, so sometimes we downriver men too. Oh, oh my goodness. Lover. Oh, I've seen it. I've seen it go. Oh, it's a good one. That's a better one. That's an Irwin. Yeah, that's an Irwin. Wow. Oh. oh my God. That's gnarly. Oh. Goodness. That's big. <laughs> oh my God. That's a big old rainbow. Oh. Holy cow. Oh my Woo. gosh. That's called an Irwin. That's an Irwin fish. Yeah, that's, that's a breed. That's called cow. a workout. <laughs> Holy Oh, cow. he's got the, he's got the jaw? Yeah. Because uh, he, he's a big old brooder. Is what it is. Uh, I'd wash your hands too. Okay. Yeah, because it is a big fish. Wash your hands and then hold them up real loud. Oh, yeah, I stick it in the water. There you go. You're good. Oh my gosh. Get your hands around them and hold them up. What? It is cool when you're catching like some of the, yeah, you know, standard size ones and then you set the hook and one's a brute. Check your flies. Make sure they're good still. <laughs> that's, that's definitely fish of the day so far. No doubt. I just want to make sure he's good before I let him go, you know? Make sure he's... I think that's about as good as we can get him. He's right... There's a rock right there. Yeah. You can see it. All right, so you're first on the re-rig. Yes, that's it. Right. So we can yeah. maybe yeah, get you one. It. Check your flies. Make sure they're good still. Oh, they're probably torn up because all of that, how well, big just, that fish was. I always check the rigs after mm. afterwards, see if they're tangled or something. Um, That little bug came off. Okay, the butt. Okay, so we gotta put that back on. Man, he was he was so big to where the bug came off. Oh my gosh! I mean, ah. Oh. I mean, he like my back's hurt now. Oh yeah, I, I probably got back from pain for life. I mean, how do you? How's it feel? Oh no. Keep it up. I love it. The trip was a success. We came for rainbow trout and we found rainbow trout. But beyond that, getting to experience God's beautiful creation at first hand gave me a deeper appreciation for what he made for us as a whole. This further my understanding on why we should be more thankful for being in these beautiful places and being able to seek these beautiful fish in these waters. God created all this for us. We should thank and praise Him every day for what He does for us. He's the only way to life after death.
Alrighty folks, uh, well uh, we just got done with the flow here and uh, Evan's going to tell us about a uh, high country angler and uh, what all he has to offer. Sure. Uh, yeah, so I'm a fly fishing guide service based out of Johnson City, Tennessee. Uh, I do trips on the Watauga and South Holston rivers. Um, that's my specialty. I've been providing a guide service here on these two rivers for, uh, this is my 24th season. We do wade trips and we do float trips. The float trips tend to be the more popular trip to take. Okay. I call it the luxury fly fishing trip. <laughs> it's, uh, you cover a lot of water, you catch a lot of trout. Okay, I got you. Yeah, and the floats are definitely a lot better. I, you know, that's what I would recommend. Yes. You know, um, cause you could kind of wade fish on your own once you start to get the technique yeah. down. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do a lot of the wading on your own. Yeah, you know? yeah. But, uh, yeah, float trips, that's what I would do if I was to recommend. But with the uh, fly fishing, he uh, taught me and my dad with just being here just about 30 some minutes. He uh, is really good at it. He uh, knows what he's doing, knows what he's talking about. He's really an expert about it. And I uh, think y'all should really check him out. Go to highcountryangler.com just to check him out and uh, make your all uh, fishing trip. Thank you. Yeah. All right, folks, just got this poster here. We've been waiting a couple weeks now for it to come in, and it's finally time to put it up. All right, folks, just got the poster put up, and that is it for us. Thank you all so much for watching. Lot to fullest. Kranz is out here. I'll see you all in the next adventure.